Florida is the epicenter of the boating world. I'm Jeff Hughesby, and we're here on Regal and Nautique of Orlando TV. And today I've got a few industry experts here with us. He said experts. Scott oh, Kreider. Hey, come on now. Thanks for having me. AKA Porkchop. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Rafino Cruz. Hola. <laughs> and Mr. Jason <laughs> Webster, uh, three time, four time. Oh, six time, six you time. my fingers? Six. Six. I lost count a few years six ago. Time Jason, six time salesperson. Six time to catch up. top salesperson in the United States. Pork chop, when are you going to catch him? Aren't you different? When I, re when I, reti when I, when I retire. In there. When I retire, <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. And when I let you. I'm going to retire. <laughs> George, too. <laughs> oh, geez. I'm kidding. Hey, today we're going to talk about uh, how to buy a boat. We're going we're gonna to address some of the fears of boat ownership. And overall, we're going to talk about, you know, some things that, that are important to you to buy a new boat. And these guys are the experts, and we're going to, we're going to answer those questions. So Absolutely. Let's, uh, let's start with uh, one of the top, <clears throat> top fears is the boat is too expensive. Financing. You guys comment on that? Yeah, financing now, especially with the way rates are and where the market is going, is way easier than it's been in the past. Very it's, easy. You know, typically, these are turnaround times. You, know, you come in, interested in the boat, and are excited about the boat. We work through. I can have you approved, or we can have you approved, literally same day. Yeah, yeah. If we're not the following day. Yeah, that's right. Ready for that's it, right. So. I mean, we've got Regal product, Nautique product. We've got four different different lines that we carry at our dealership. But more importantly, a first time boat owner is is looking for a payment. And you know we've got a new Regal that it can start around two twenty-five a month, right, guys? That's yes. right. Yeah, yep. yeah. Nineteen-foot Regal, fully capable of, uh, they, of. Yeah, Jason's got a picture of it there yeah, up on the there screen. You go. There, yeah. a brand new Great. Regal. Great. Regals are made right here in Orlando. Fifty-three nine. miles an hour. Yep. Top yeah, is fifty-three top miles an hour. <laughs> nine, nine passenger boat. That boat is fully capable of. Uh, Hitting just about anywhere in Central Florida. Up and and going where else? Where else yeah, is that boat? Oh, geez. <laughs> Don't recommend this. We but, had a client uh, actually take the 19-footer all the way offshore to the Bahamas. Well, we're going to get to that in a minute. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let, let's address another part here, Jason, uh, something that you brought up about the myth of boat ownership. Yeah, hear, hear it all the time. Hear it all the time that, uh, hey, you know, the, the best day of boat ownership, best two days are the day you buy it and the day so. you sell it. That's... That's such a myth that, you know, going back 40 years ago, maybe that was, uh, that was true. You know, you had carburetors and you had wood in the boats and you had just old antiquated systems. Now it's just like, just like a car. You get in it, you turn the key, the thing goes. Oh. The cost of ownership is, is so much less and, and now. And the warranties and, are so much better. Absolutely. I mean, I remember when I started selling, some of the warranties were 90 days. Cool. Uh, we called them 90 feet, one hit, year. 90 feet hit the curb <laughs> or yeah. as soon as it's right out now. of the parking lot, it's gone. That's right. And now, no, now we're talking about a five-year comprehensive bumper-to-bumper yeah. -bumper warranty. That's great. Yeah, five-year so That protects warranty. the customer. Uh, I might bring yeah. in another avenue here. I don't think I've been buying boats for four years yet, or at least I hope not. <laughs> he's but, a young um, <laughs> Yeah. That's why he's not caught up to Jim. Ever since yeah, I yeah, owned exactly. a boat, I don't see a day in my future that I'll never not own a boat in this standpoint. So that's right. It's a lifestyle. It does become part of a family lifestyle. and. Another fear that we see occasionally is that people are scared that they're going to get ripped off. So I want to address that as, as our dealership is we are known as your trusted dealer. These right. guys right here with this experience and, and my direction, we have customers that, I mean, they trust us. Sure, sure. sure. I mean, so, we, we have, I would say, 75 to 80 percent of our clients are repeat customers. And so our, that, that amount of business comes from repeat and referral business. And and it's not by taking advantage of, of the customer the first time. I mean, we, we have customers that have purchased six, eight, 10, 12 boats from us over that's the right. years. That's crazy. That's right. You know, and that's, that just goes to show, you know, we, they, they trust us with, with their purchase. They trust us with guiding them in the, in the right direction of buying the right boat the first time and taking care of them. I, I got a quick story that uh, we were at the Orlando Boat Show in 2015, and uh, Rafino was there. I, I met a, uh, a family, the, the Rosa family, never owned a boat. And I ended up selling them a 19-foot Regal. Mm -hmm. Again, this price point boat. Oh, there they are right there, yep. the Rosa family. That's their yeah, first right boat. There. So it got them into the boating lifestyle, and they, they got to experience how fun it was and how, how many – they met lots of friends. Yep. They became very mm -hmm. good friends with uh, Rafino. And here we are three years later, and they just ordered a new 26-foot Regal. Correct. Um, Funny story, they took the 19-footer to the Bahamas, which we yeah, don't, yeah, don't yeah. recommend. That's not a big enough boat to take to the Bahamas. They did it. 
Yeah. They were so passionate about first going. First time boat First time boat First time owners. <laughs> like, oh, we can go to the Bahamas, yeah. no problem. Who, who so. trained them? Who delivered that boat? I wasn't I think it, it was yeah. Uh, yeah. boss. That was you. Yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> they did. They went with a bunch of friends, and it was it was safe. However, the wife was a little nervous about being in a, a very small boat. Um, so it's now they, they've upgraded to a 26-footer. Yep. And they're going to do the it, same trip now. That's right. So, you know, that proves that, that the, the, some of the fears of boat ownership are overcome by, you know, proper training, finding the right boat for them, mm -hmm. and they upgrade and they, they become, right. uh, they trust us. Well, and that's the biggest thing, especially, I love it that you hit on trust, is that developing that relationship with myself or Jeff as the owner or Rafina or Jason or any of us at the dealership, you know, when you first come in as a first boat buyer, we, we touch on how easy it is to finance, but we're out on the water with you. Correct. We demo the boat mm -hmm. with you. We make sure it's going to work out and yep. encompass everything that you want and or need in that aspect. But we also teach you in how those waterways work. So it kind of works out in the aspect of, you know, we first go out on the lake. We learn freshwater boating, which is a little bit easier. Everything's a little bit more pinpoint. We don't have to worry about cleaning and other supplies. And then we can go on with ongoing training. We've had, and I know Jason, Rafino, and Jeff, you've been doing this for Ever? longer than I've been Forever, but uh, probably, yeah, probably yeah, yeah. longer than you've been alive. <laughs> <for> decades? <laughs> I like yeah. to, you know, we make it easy and we make it fun and let's learn freshwater lake boating with all the lakes that we have here in Central That's Florida. Right. Sure. And I might have clients or customers or friends that get used to that and now they want to venture off into the intercoastal and do saltwater one thing or I venture hear, off and do Bahamas boating. One thing I hear a lot is that our customers, uh, when we do deliver the boat, it's not just here, here's the boat, ciao. We actually spend a day, a day and a half, in some cases right. two to three days. They have our cell phones, they call the shop, we're a family. I mean, it's, and if I'm not available, we, we tag team and we will help out. Jason's customers, Jeff's mm. customers, we work as a sure. team and they That's love right. it. We have guys just go out and hang out at the service shop. You know, I, I think, I yeah. think that the biggest yeah. part of this, what we're talking about right here, is the education and the training and the safety and the right way to do it the first time. Mm -hmm. These first-time boat owners, if they have a bad experience, that they they lay right into that myth. That's right. Yeah. And we, we are an exception to that, and we will we will prove to you that we are an exception to that. Yeah, I, I couldn't tell you how many times I've had a, a client, maybe not a first-time boat owner, or a second time, maybe a third-time boat owner come to us, and they, they, they're wanting to purchase from us, and one of the major questions is, so... How do I learn how to drive the boat? I mean, it's are, are you going to spend any time with me or do I get any time with you? And then when you explain to them that, yeah, you, you get us for a full day, you get us for as long as you need to physically learn how to and feel comfortable with the boat. And they're just floored that yeah. they actually get someone that's that's knowledgeable and capable of running the boat and teaching uh, with, with the purchase. Weren't we rated number one CSI for Regal? We're, we're the, yeah, we were the, the number one highest customer satisfaction among Regal owners of all Regal dealers in the entire world for 2018. Yeah, that's, so that, that's that is a testament that's, and award. Yeah, yeah. That's us. Yeah. Pat ourselves on the back, yeah. That's, that's saying that we are doing the proper training and we sell a lot of 19 footers, which those it's are first time boat owners. Those are hard. Not only are we selling them uh, to the first time buyers, but listen, in Orlando, the Hispanic market has grown. Un poquito. Yep. Uh, Not despacito. What? Good point. Un poquito. Yeah, see? <laughs> see, see. <laughs> so this Hispanic market has grown more and more. You know, uh, we, we found some stats here that uh, Hispanics now comprise about 19% of the U.S. population. However, they represent only 11% of the active boating community. 32% of those are first-time boaters. Wow, that's mm. some good stats. Right so that's there. a big a big segment. Yeah. So again, going back to some of the fears is, you know, we, we, ha we not only have Danny Harf, who has just started with us now, um, who's a professional, you know, wakeboard or wake surfer. So we've yeah. got that segment of it. But we also have uh, a bilingual salesperson here, which we've never had in the past. Uh, Rafino, can you say something there? Hola, aquí estoy para ayudar. <laughs> That's all nice. I know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I saw that in the back of a Taco Bell receipt. <laughs> Are you placing an order? Yeah. I'm kind of hungry. It is lunchtime. So the Hispanic market is growing. We, we can meet your needs, uh, you know, in, in, the, in that market as well. Let's touch on another part of uh, uh, service, you know servicing a boat. People are scared of the ownership. They don't know what the costs are of this mm -hmm. thing. So, you know, how, how do you guys deal with that, you know, when you're selling a boat to somebody? How, how, do, you, how do you deal with that? Well, you know, realistically, the, the cost of ownership on a boat nowadays has, has really kind of narrowed and slimmed out based on the systems that are involved in the boat. So you, you have an initial service, you know, with the boat, which is, you know, it, let's say in a Regal, it's not until your first 50 hours. 
So that could be you know six months, a year down the road. So you're not buying the boat and then instantly two, three weeks later having to bring it in for service and incurring that massive cost. And then after you do that initial service, it's basically just once a year. Well, and generally what I do, and, and sorry to kind of stop you there, is you especially first time boat owners and I'm fourth, fifth time boat owner, I still have a payment involved and I break mine out monthly and I look at it as to Budget. what the overall annual cost is because sure. that's the way it's developed on a boat. Sure. And I break it down for each individual client as to what their specific boat's going to cost mm -hmm. them, not only from a payment or insurance or maintenance and so on and so forth. So they know the overall cost of ownership right up front. Sure. One thing that helps out too is we have a mobile team, don't we? We have, we have mobile service so we can come right. to your dock, but even in the bigger picture of that is Many of these uh, manufacturers now, with the newer engines, there's less to maintain on them. That's right. And um, we offer yearly maintenance plans that just make it simple. So we can tell you that, hey, this is uh, $600, this is $900, and this, if you take care of your boat, which is part of our education and part of our training, if you take care of your boat, this, this is, is what this will cost. cost you. Yeah. Anything above and beyond that, that that's, you know, damage that could be done. One last tip sure. too, didn't we win the best in class service for North America? Yeah. Uh, Is that? Best two, 2018 yeah, yeah. we were best <laughs> that's right. service department in North America. In the country, America. that's right. Yeah, that, that's a, a pretty Pretty unbelievable achievement. Yeah. Not just Regal, not just Stanty, but yeah. all boat Yeah, that's all boat dealers in, in the country, in yeah. North America. The easiest part is selling the Pretty boat. Huge. The hardest part is keeping that customer happy. We that's have right. repeat customers that come in, like you said, five, six boats they bought from Jason. And right. It's a 10 year period. And yeah. the reason why they keep coming back is because we have great service. That's right. So that, Good looking that's salesmen like us as well. Right. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, couldn't, yeah, yeah, nothing to do with that. <laughs> so let's, let's move on to another point is how do we know what's the right type of boat for us? Like if a, if your family comes in and they don't know anything about boating, how do you know if it's a pontoon, a fish boat, a deck sure. boat, a yeah. wakeboard boat, a wake surf boat? You know, there's all kinds of boats, I mean, cruisers, there's yachts, uh, yeah. how do you know? It's all about asking the right questions. You just have to, you know, as a, as a salesperson, you, you, you kind of break it down as to what do you envision doing in the boat? You know, I mean, do you have kids? How many kids do you have? What ages are the kids? Gets are home. you an athletic type of person? Do you see yourself getting back behind the boat? Is warranty important? You know, what's your budget? So when, when we really kind of delve into the, the small aspects and, and get asking everybody individual involved. questions, oh, you get everybody involved. Kids, what their yeah. expectations that's, are. That's the whole right. family's so got to be involved. That's they absolutely right. Yeah. It is a family decision. It's going to be a, a, a family environment. It's something you're, you're, you're buying into a lifestyle for the whole family, not just for one person. So, yep. and, and, you know, finding the right boat the first time for these people is really key because that builds a trust. I mean, right. we're helping them you know, spend a lot of money for enjoyment and, and, and a mean, boat we, is... We don't want them to just buy one boat though. It can't no, be no, that no. perfect, right? No, but we, we gotta yeah. mess up every now well, they, they gotta be able to grow. Speaking of right. right. one train, boat, so. I've, I've right. helped out Assisted Jason many times. Most of the boat dealers, what they do is, you go to their shop, they only want to demo you on one boat. Jason's taking two to three boats out mm. to this customer's house. That's we'll right. bring the boat to you. We'll fit it in your garage. I know that's you've right. done it a few times. Right. And then, until we get the right boat that's for you. Yeah, it needs, it needs to not be, the, and we get this all the time. You know, a, a, a client will come in and, and they were at another dealership and it was all about the boat of the day. It was the boat that the yeah, salesman wanted to sell, yeah. that the GM or the sales manager was pushing that day. It wasn't about the right fit for the family. Most important thing you can do is buy the right boat for it's your It's got to be a fun and memorable experience right. and it's got to be a, a positive experience for sure. the Entire family, yeah, not absolutely. just today, but for the next, you know, several years for them. Mm -hmm. And and not only that, I mean, really, the reason why we're all here and the reason why we do what we do is it's it truly is a lifestyle that it's passion. we we're, share we're passionate with about it one each voters. other, but also yeah. our clientele and our friends. I mean, some of the best friendships I have, I've been here now in Florida with Jeff and you guys for five years, literally are because of they were sure, yeah, the rookie. Yeah, first yeah. clients of mine, yeah. now literally best friends. Speaking so, of rookie, yeah. how many years are we together in the boat business roughly? You said uh, uh, over 65 years yeah. combined right here. He's 50 of it, just Jeff yeah, alone. Right pulling the weight right there, yeah. man. <laughs> yeah. no, no pun intended there. Yeah, Yeah. What are, why are you looking at me? Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> boat Let's talk about another, take another care point of us. Yeah, yeah, another subject, thank you. We're getting into we the season salads of, lunch, uh, right? of boat shows. Yeah. So, you know, is, is, is buying a boat at a boat show, is that a good idea or a bad idea? You know, what, what, what's some thoughts on that, guys? Yeah, you know, buy, it, certainly the boat show, you've got a, a, a plethora 
of uh, different <laughs> manufacturers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the word of the day. <laughs> there, there's a plethora of, of different types of boats and different dealerships and styles and things like that. The problem is, is it's so congested at a boat show, there's thousands of people all vying for the same boat and looking at the same boat and trying to get the attention of the salesman. So, you know, it, you, you can get a good idea of what's out on the market, but do you get your best deal? Eh, I don't know. Do you get to spend enough time with the salesman to figure out what the right type of boat is? You know, we, we do we do basically like pre-boat show sales we do. to, we have one to offer up. the same there's, incentives. There's, uh, there, there's some footage of the boat show last year. So we spent thousands of dollars to put on this show, yeah. and it's a, it's a great opportunity to come and look at all of the boats. However, the, the downside to that is, is that you are not going to get the one-on-one -on -one uh, you know, activity yeah, and, and communication yeah. Yeah. experience that you might get at our at our store. We we can spend more time with you. The other thing is, it's awful hard to demo a boat that's sitting in that yeah. show. Yeah, it's hard to flood the showroom. Yeah, yeah. hard to flood the. You got your center. plus and minuses. You have all our sure. competitors there, so you're able to yeah. see it. But most well, of our shoppers already know what they want. So when you come to our showroom the week before the show it is that one-on-one -on -one experience it's that That's right you know one hour two hour not the yeah. 30 minute sign and drive so a lot, a lot of clients. gotta bring up a point you know at boat shows some of these manufacturers what i call drinking the kool-aid yeah, they throw yeah, the yeah. kool-aid out there they throw the smoke in the mirrors and all this kind of stuff mm -hmm. And yeah. that's all great at a show, and that gets people to buy a boat, which gives them a bad experience because it wasn't the right boat for them. That's so right. A lot of people buy the, the wrong boat at the boat show. They that's buy right. the wrong boat because, again, it was the boat of the day. It was the one that was the deal, you know, that they couldn't pass up because the guy was pushing. And what it defines over. a deal? Is that just the <laughs> cheapest perception? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, all, it's, it's all perception. perception. How many times have you taken a, a brand new boat on trade because it wasn't the right boat for that's, the family? I, 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 can't, I can't time. count. I can't count with any times. And yeah, that's when you get ripped off. That's when you feel like you got ripped off. Yeah. Yeah, we're, yeah. We're, we're, gonna, we're doing a, a, a pre-boat show sale starting February 25th mm -hmm. to March 4th. You guys can get the same pricing that you're going to get at the boat show, but you're going to get a whole bunch better experience dealing with these guys at our showroom right. or on the water. Yep. So and February 25th to March 4th, all you got to do is you, you just call our shop, 407-425-2628 uh, or 425-B-O-A-T. Ask for me. My name's Jason. I'll be happy to take care of you. <laughs> oh, I'm Cruz. Oh, no, I'm Espanol. This is Scott. Yeah. Hey. Single. Yeah. Yeah. Un poquito hablo espanol. I see aquí. Before we go on about the, the boat show, because, again, you hit on it is the Kool-Aid and it's the marketing of the sale and this is the deal. But... Just recently, over the past three to five years in the industry, what have we seen when it comes to availability and oh, timing? Time. Yeah, that's another, that's another a great big deal. point. The economy is roaring, and we've had a hard time keeping inventory in stock. So kind of plan ahead. If you want a, a certain color boat, we got to order that. Some of our manufacturers right now are already into May and June for delivery on, on units. So, so the thought process of walking into boat show in March yeah. and to building a boat, a boat and having it ready for this summer. Yeah, for, yeah that's it's it's used to be a 30 to 60 day process. Now yeah. we're looking at 90 to 120 days. So you, you do need to plan ahead. We do have a, uh, ride, uh, a lot of inventory as well. So we're able to, uh, you know, if that boat's not the color you want or we ha we you want another color, we have in some cases four to five boats of each model. Yeah, we've yeah, got, we've got, got over, over $7 million in inventory at our store that uh, I'm pretty sure we have something there that will that will fit your needs Something and it's very work. convenient um, to get to downtown orlando you know guys thanks for coming on and uh you know one of the, one of the biggest things i hope that we can help people with is with some of the tips that you guys have had mm -hmm. is that you know you learn to love your boat the first time that's right have a great experience the first time mm -hmm. and buy from a trusted dealer i think those are the big keys so scott thank you for yeah, yeah. coming on appreciate it thank appreciate you. your input mr cruz gracias oh, hola. <laughs> Mr. Webster? Yes, sir. Three times. Oh, wait. Six times. Six times. Yeah, six times. That's right. That's right. I'm just going to keep throwing that out. I, know. I might as well. I mean, <laughs> Can we do a Jason hey, Webster a, show there's next a plethora. time? There's Jason a Webster hey, show. There hey, there's a plethora of experience there. That's, that's a P word. So. So, yeah. I need another P word in a few. Yeah. We might need a bigger yeah. studio to bring more of our, uh, our staff on here. We got to bring the studio. Yeah. Bring, bring, studio. bring, Magic bring Mike, the studio at yeah. the shop. MJ. Oh, bring the studio to the shop. Yeah, that's a good shop. Or on the water. On the water. We've got to do that on the water. Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you. We've got to do that on the water.